Welcome to day 15 of Self Care Miss. I'm Heather Evans, your self care and personal empowerment coach. To stay updated on all things self care and personal empowerment, remember to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release a new video every Monday and Thursday throughout the year. Welcome back, everybody. It is Self Care Miss Day 15, and we are starting to wind down with 2019. I can't believe this year is almost over. If you're anything like me, the start of the year tends to go really slow, but the last three months race by, and here we are. So what I'd like to invite us to consider today is how we want to move into the next year. And there are two different ways that we can think about this. We can think about it in terms of goals that we want to set or results that we want to see. Setting goals is great. It gives you something to look forward to, to work toward. It gives you a sense of achievement when you accomplish a goal. Here's the thing. Goals can be a bit nebulous. They can be a bit mushy. A goal can feel quite expansive. A result, on the other hand, is something very specific. We can almost quantify it in a way. I was recently sitting with a client of mine and she came to me with a results list for the next year that of things that she wanted to manifest. And when I was working with her on the results list, what we ended up doing was taking the result that she had put down, but then getting really specific about it. So as an example, one of the results that she wanted to see was, I want to be healthier next year. I'm going to be healthier. That's an amazing result. Some might even call that a goal. What we then did is sat down and said, okay, what's the result from being healthier next year that you want to see? And she said, I want to have more energy. And I said, okay, what would having more energy, what would that result give you? She said, I'd be able to go out for a walk at the end of each day with my spouse and have enough energy to do that. I wouldn't be coming home from work and collapsing on the couch because I'm so exhausted. I'm like that's a result. That's a great result. So what we did is we started looking at the initial set of results that she wrote, and then we refined them. And the, the refinement on that one was, one of the results I want to see in 2020 is that I have the energy to go for a walk with my spouse at the end of every day. How incredible is that? Not only that, having that result, what we discovered in looking at that result is that it was tied to some of her core values. So her getting this result, directly meant that she was going to be living her core values every day. And by the way, if you don't know your core values, make sure you check out that video link in the corner above as well as in the description below because you need to be living your core values every single day. When we drill down to specific results that we want to see in the next year, it gives us a grounded sense of accomplishment when we achieve them. Here's the other thing about results. We wanna make sure that they're achievable and attainable. So the result should be something that you feel can be accomplished. Why? Because I want you entering next year feeling like you are going to rock every single item on your results list. And at the end of 2020, I want you looking back at your results list, knowing that you have successfully accomplished everything you wrote down. Here's the deal. It's not that they aren't visionary. It's not that some of these results can't be big, but I also want you to feel successful. I want you to achieve them. We also know that life happens. Things will come up along the way. If your results list needs to shift at any point during the year, permission to do so. These aren't written in stone. We have the capacity to erase, modify, white out exists for a reason. So take time to think about the results you'd like to see in your life in 2020. You can do this for your personal life, for your career, for your physical health, your mental health, your emotional health. However you want to think about the results that you want to see, 
it's your list and yours alone. That's your invitation today for day 15 of Self Care Miss. If you haven't yet signed up to receive the emails for Self Care Miss, there is still time. When you sign up for that up leveling of self care during the festive season, you're automatically entered to win a two hour intention setting session with me. It's you, me, and the vision that you want to carry forward into 2020. Stay ignited out there, stay grounded in your results out there, and I will see you soon. Bye.